Hello again, this is Steve at HVACPartsShop.com. You can reach us here at 1-866-215-3831. Today we're going to talk about a contactor. This particular contactor's part number is a 68J37. It is a double pull contactor. Uh, it's a 40 FLA. Um, I did remove the screws that hold the dust cover on. Um, we pull that off, you'll see. This is actually a double pull contactor. You got to pull over here on this side and then this side as well. This is going to be L1, L2, and the same. Once the switch closes, it will have the same L1, L2 up here. So when this closes, power from here will transfer to here and the same. It closes, power from here to here. The way it's going to close is uh, when you make a call for cooling on your thermostat, it's going to energize your coil. Your coil is located here, right here. Um, this is where your 24 volt connections will go. Uh, so you got one there, um, and then you got another one on this side. Okay, so when that coil is energized, what it's going to do is it's going to make a magnetic pull to where it closes this closes this uh, switch. So once it's closed, it will spring down you can just see it press down like that so that's closed so we would have power passing from these two terminals here from your l1 and your l2 it would transfer up to here uh, what that's going to do is energize your loads uh, your load would be your compressor and your condenser fan motor we will go out and install this um, here in just a few minutes uh, so you can see how it's done it's really pretty simple. Uh, one thing you want to make sure that you do uh, before messing with this is definitely make sure your power is off to the unit because uh, you got a lot of voltage coming into this. This here would be your line voltage. So you're going to have 120 on this side, 120 here. Of course, when it closes, then you then you got the 120 on either one. Most of your units are going to be a two, 240 volt unit. Um, so you definitely want to be careful and make sure your power is off. Of course here on the either side of here is going to be your control voltage so uh, which is your 24 volts. So enough on this we'll go ahead and put our dust cover back on and let's go out and get started. Hello this is Steve again at HVACPartsShop.com today we're going to go over changing out a contactor. Uh, this particular contactor we're going to change out uh, the issue we had with it is the points are pitted on it, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that changed out. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we want to do is make sure that we, we went ahead and got our disconnect shut off. But we want to make sure that we don't have power, so you definitely want, before you start touching stuff in here, uh, use your meter to make sure everything's off. So, And I'm at zero. So I know that we're good to go. Alrighty, let's get this out of the way a little bit. Okay, first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and get this one removed. Just a couple screws on either side. We'll go ahead and get that one removed. We got one down here. And as you notice, this is somebody took the cover off of this. It's supposed to have a cover on it to keep bugs and dirt and stuff like that out of it. That way, when this is uh, engaged, it doesn't uh, it doesn't pull in a, uh, and trap a lot of that that stuff inside the contacts. So let's go ahead and put those there. Okay, so we got our contactor here. We got it out of the way. Let's go ahead and get our new contactor. We'll go ahead and mount it and then we'll just switch wires. Here's the cover I was talking about on the old one, this cover here. Basically what it does is it kind of seals our contacts to keep any dirt and debris out. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because when that uh, contactor closes, we want it to be a nice clean surface that it's closing against. Otherwise, whatever's in there, it'll create arcs and when you do create an arc that's what happens when 
uh, when it starts to pit on you and stuff because of that spark. So we're going to go ahead and get this one uh, installed. So let's go ahead and get that going. We'll just kind of push this one out of the way for right now. Okay, so we're nice and tight, so we're just going to go ahead and start switching our wires here. Um, so basically, and I'll kind of go over this in another video, but uh, the way this contactor works is that when we have a call for, when we have a call for cooling, uh, we got a coil, and I'll show you on this one, we got a coil on the back side of the contactor, this contactor here. This is a 24 volt wire. And then on the other side, we got another 24 volt wire. When we have 24 volts that energizes this coil, what happens is it creates a magnetic pole. And then when that does that, it pulls this contactor in as such to, to make contact. Uh, so that's what we got. So we'll go ahead and start switching out our wires, just wire for wire. Definitely want to make sure our fittings are nice and tight. Uh, don't want any loose electrical connections. Uh, that can cause trouble. Uh, you'll have heat. It'll gain a lot of heat if it's not a good tight connection. And then finally, we'll just go ahead and we'll remove our, uh, our power wires. So our power comes up through the top. Uh, once, it's, once the switch is energized uh, or has 24 volts put to it, it closes and then this is for your load. So your load for your transform, or your load for your condenser fan motor, and your load for uh, your compressor. So that's how that'll work. I'll go ahead and get these trans transferred over, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so all we have left on this contactor 
would be our 24 volt wires. I was talking to you earlier about that, our coil here. So basically when your thermostat makes a call for uh, a demand, or your thermostat has a demand for, for cooling, um, the contacts in the thermostat will close. It will send 24 volts, 24 volts out to this coil. Uh, that's when the coil decides to go ahead and uh, close this contactor. You can see right here how that's closing. The problem with this contactor is, is right in here is your points. I know it's hard to see, but right in there is your points. And what happens is, is when you get debris and stuff in there, it, uh, uh, it won't close tightly, so it'll start to arc a little bit. Once that happens, then your contactor will start to pit, and, uh, and then it's time to go ahead and replace that contactor when that happens. So let's go ahead and replace these other two wires. Make sure you don't pull on the wire itself when you're pulling those out. You want to try to uh, pull by the connector itself. So sometimes you just got to kind of wiggle it a little bit um, to get it in there. We'll go ahead and swap that one out there. We'll do the same on this side over here. Go ahead and get that out. So we got that. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's how we do the contactor. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. We're at uh, HVACpartshop.com. My phone number here is going to be 1-866-215-3831. Uh, until then, I'll see you the next time.